Hi guys, welcome to another beer review and we've got a beer from a brewery that I've tried once or twice here on the channel and they make high quality products and I've drank their beer quite a few times um, especially back in the UK well maybe once or twice back in the UK but I stopped ever since I came to Germany because it's one of those breweries that do beers that are really easily affordable like just regular prices but then when you're back in England you're paying like upwards of like two quid for a bottle even though I think some supermarkets now uh, have the regular or one or two of their regular beers for a really decent price but yeah it wasn't that long ago since you know you go to special bottle shops and you'd have beers from this brewery for like three to you know three quid and it's like mm, I'm not that big on the beers that they do or the styles that they do I should say but I've reviewed the um, Royal, I think it was the Royal, uh, which was quite underwhelming. But I know they're a well-respected brewery. And uh, yeah, that is the Francis Karnabroi München. And this is the Keller beer. Now, I didn't actually know they brewed this at all. Um, I thought they were just specifically wheat beers. But um, when on the Rate Beer website, after I picked this one up and they do primarily do that but they also um, in the same brewery with uh, Spaten and one more I think I can't remember uh, the name so I think that I think they're like in they're an AB InBev um, brewery anyway but uh, yeah Keller beer um you know I enjoy the style it's not one of my all-time favorites don't get me wrong like Keller beers wheat beers um, saisons, wit beers, you know, they're, they're good every now and then, but they're not a beer style that I'll always go to. But I was interested to see what their take of a Keller beer would be. So yeah, really nice, really nice traditional looking artwork on the front and back. And then there's a nice crown that, you know, makes it stick out to the other Francis Garner beers. So, quickly get this opened and yeah, a little bit of uh, gun smoke there, not too much. It's quite faint in terms of aroma on the bottleneck at least. But um, yeah, they're a well respected brewery, got a lot of money behind them, got quite a reputation, so I'm quietly confident this is going to be a nice one. It is an unfiltered beer, so I'll leave a little bit in the bottle just in case there's little bits and bobs there and there are a couple pieces of sedimentation in there not too much but nice amount of steady carbonation let's give you an angle where you can actually see it and uh, yeah in terms of color it's a nice it's not as hazy as I was expecting it to be to be honest but it's like a hazy orangey slightly amberish sort of color those orange hues are really nice it's got so many different shades of orange in there but yeah poured with pretty much no head at all uh, but it looks to be off-white so let's give this a little twirl and then a sniff it's definitely an earthy smelling beer Sort of reminds me of like um I don't know why this is in my head, but like my granddad's house when I was a kid. A little bit musky. But there's a nice sweetness there. Slight hint of clove, maybe. Maybe a bit of vanilla as well. But it's definitely predominantly an earthy sort of beer. You are picking up the yeast in there. And it does have like a sort of dankness. Sort of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know, musky. Let's leave it at musky. So shake this up and pour it in. And see if it changes. I can't get it rolling, can I? Uh, let's see. Risky, risky, risky. Get rid of that foam. And yeah, look how creamy that is now. On top. Anyway, yeah, as you can see, very slightly off white head. 
So, has that affected the beer? Well, yeah, it's definitely, definitely a lot more hazy now. That's what I was expecting, but it's still a, quite a vibrant colour. It's a little bit more luminous on camera and than it is in person, but it's still, it's a really nice beer. It's what I expect from um, a Keller beer. So, I've already had a little bit of the head. Didn't really get anything, just a bitterness. So let's have a proper, I've poured way too much in there. Let's have a proper taste. Cheers. Not the most flavorful of beers, to be honest. Not really getting hit with flavors in there. Let's have another one. It's got a relatively creamy mouthfeel. Very pleasant. It's got, you know, quite a body to it. Not too heavy, but it's definitely a lot creamier than some of the other Keller beers that I've tried. But yeah, flavour profile. Bready. Biscuity. It's got some spice in there. Not really any sweet notes, not really any fruity notes. Yeasty, um, sort of like um, a paler rye bread, almost. I don't know, it's a, it's a fairly inoffensive Keller beer. There might be a slight hint of a berry fruitness there, but not much. In fact, flavour-wise, I'm not really picking up too many flavours, but it's not an unpleasant beer. It's definitely drinkable, um, it definitely feels a bit heavy as it's going down, so you're probably going to end up taking your time with this one, I know I certainly will. But um, yeah, I didn't really know what to expect going into this one, so I'm not, you know, let down by it. It's a really solid take on the style, but just doesn't have the the flavour profile or the you know to make it really stand out amongst others. <laughs> Excuse me, but I've, I've tasted a lot worse in terms of Keller beers. But it's not a bad beer. It's slightly above average. So in terms of a rating, I'm going to give this maybe a six out of ten. Not too bitter either, which is nice. And even though it's a bit heavy, it is somewhat refreshing. And uh, men are shouting outside. So yeah, coming in at 5.2%. It, it's a not bad, not bad. Just could maybe a bit more robust, have a bit more flavour. But if you want a good steady Keller beer, maybe it's the first Keller beer you've you'll try and you come across it definitely give it a go but it's a six six point five out of ten from me so uh, yeah if you want to find out more about this beer the usual links will be down below as well as links to the brewery uh, check out my Keller beer related playlist uh, follow me on instagram follow me on twitter uh, subscribe for more beer reviews and speaking of which i hope you will join me for the next one and yeah if you've tried this beer let me know your thoughts and opinions anyway thank you guys for watching and i shall hopefully see you in the next one. Cheers guys.